right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Today we're going to check out the Vivor Ultrasonic Cleaner. They make them in all different sizes. They did reach out to me and they sent me this for free to try out. And I think I need one with the amount of stuff I've got going on here. Let me show you a couple projects. Here's a little 400 that I am turning into a 500 stroker for a, another YouTuber out there. I'm going to show you that video soon, but I wanted to get my ultrasonic cleaner set up so I can do some little parts and stuff. When they reached out to me. They wanted to send me a small one. And I said, I wanted the biggest one you have. Got me a little space here on my workbench, but I wanted to show you. Here's a big block Mopar water pump. The whole pump fits right in there. Isn't that special? The lid would even go on. I've got an old dirty one over there, but also I've got a timing cover. I wanted to try a few different things because it's what you do when you get something. Old valve, exhaust valve, intake valve from small block. Throw those in. Let me see what else I can find. It's dirty. Mopar timing cover from that little 400 I just took apart. And that's all the factory funk in there. I'm not doing anything to it. Put it in. Send it. There we go. Front seal's still in. Whatever. I don't know if I'll even use this. It depends how nice it comes out. Piece of gasket still left on the bottom, all that. We're going to look at it in just a minute. Um, I think I can do one more. Let me stick these in the corner. How about a big old slug of an old 440 piston that sat outside with the ring still on it? Rusted wrist pin, all that. It had a little little dome top to it, not bad. I'm gonna drop her in just like that. We'll see how all this turns out here shortly. I figured I'm gonna do uh, probably 50-50 vinegar and water. Everybody on the internet says try different things, do different things, whatever. But I mean, I'll just experiment with it and see, but I'm gonna turn the heat on too and put just a big squirt of uh, dish soap in. Also. We are 50 to 50 with vinegar and water. I had about a cup of a, uh, so Mr. Clean I poured in and then a big squirt of uh, dishwashing soap. And I got it set on, the heat is on, I got it set on 80. So it'll probably be getting hot at some point. It's moved up one degree in 30 seconds or something. Uh, there it goes another one. And I got us on 30 minutes, so. loud so if you are wanting to sit in here with it uh probably won't be too enjoyable also my uh temperature's only up to 47 so you might have to turn that on a little bit early and let me pull this up and look here i picked easy that was just a valve sticking out it's looking a little better not quite there yet, I don't think. What else? There's our timing cover after the 20 minutes. Let's see if I can put the, there we go. Just got my little legs hooked over there. The other valve. Yeah, it's still pretty carboned up. I know the inside of this is funky. There's grease falling off on my finger there. Oh, wow. That's looking pretty good. Let's keep going. I'm going to give it another 30 from right now. So we'll see how she goes. All right. We've had 50 minutes total in this thing. And it's finally almost up to heat. But it did cut off just a second ago. You can see something's happening here. Bubbling, hissing. Um, probably around my piston. We'll see what she looks like. There we go. Looks pretty good. 60 over now. I didn't, couldn't see the number before. 
rust is still on the wrist pin. I figured it would be, but that vinegar would fight it some. Rings look a lot better. Strong stuff. Yeah, let me dump that just a second and I'll put it on my drying mat. There's one valve. I think what had happened in here or with this, um, it was standing straight up. The other one may have fell in. So we'll see what the difference is in those two. As for carbon stuff, it looks like most of it's gone. There's the bottom side. Let me set her out. The stuff is pretty warm. I threw in my, that? I don't want to hurt my basket. There's a seal on our timing cover. Check that out. I knew that would look sharp. That grease is gone off the top too. It's just floating in the water. There's some left here. I want to see how easily it wipes off. This might be one of those deals that uh, you could basically blow it off. Check out the inside, how nice that looks. Let me get my zoom on here. There we go. Yes. I love it. So much better. I'm going to set that down because it's probably warm. Simple screwdriver. Oh, yeah. I might pitch it back in there. I thought about leaving this thing going. I got some bolts I wanted to do while it's hot. It took, took a little while to get warm. But for the most part, there's blue paint just falling off. There's some more. That's so nice. Play with my mixtures a little bit, see if I can come up on something a little different. But for the most part, this is about ready to, to uh, wash. Some little rusty stuff left here. Knock that off. And the inside, so much better. So much better. And it, directions say to rinse it with water and, and be done. There's a little bit of funk left on here, but. Overall, I'm pretty happy. I got one more piece. Let me grab it. I threw this kick down linkage in just for fun towards the end because I thought, I, I don't know, I'd see what it'd do. That factory blue paint's just falling right away. I can even, yep, scrape it off my fingers. The piece is not hot anymore, any of that. My buddy Darren at Blake's Muscle Car, I mentioned they run uh, Evapo Rust in theirs and love it. But I told them this thing probably takes six to eight gallons worth. And I know you can reuse that. So I might end up, uh, get me some Ovapa rust after this. Or if I get it cleaned up as much, like to this point, then I can have just a separate pail Evapo rust, dip this thing overnight and come back and be good to go. I think I can take my blow gun and just blow this stuff off. So I went ahead and dropped this old front piece in that goes on Darren's Barracuda about 30 minutes some of that paint y'all saw my other videos where that paint peels off anyway but uh got a lot of my rust scale off i know there's some stuff around that and this stuff being vinegar whenever i half vinegar half water uh when i had a section of this hanging out of the solution it would immediately rust it looked like the titanic so i had to put that cover back in again just lay it all the way submerged and it got 99% of that off. So if you'll remember how this thing looked, I didn't scrub this side at all. The front side, I tried to just wire brush a little bit of that one spot, but it turned out really nice. So, I mean, overall, there's my piston. The rings actually freed up on it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, wrist pin still stuck, but I bet if it, if this was dropped in a bucket of diesel or something, it would probably free up. Uh, but yeah, valves, uh, they're okay. Overall, I mean, it's a fairly nice machine. Please let me know in the comments what y'all like to put in this for a solution. Uh, this, this worked pretty well, but I think I may go with like 50-50 degreaser or something next time. Since it holds eight gallons, I'm kind of, I don't know if I want to buy eight gallons of evapo rust and put in here. I know I can drain it and filter it a hundred times, but I'll just see how it goes. 
But I appreciate y'all watching and I'll catch you next time.